What's up Guardians, my name is Excalion, and in today's video we're going to go over what I think is a bit of a hidden meta in this uh, PvP sandbox, and it's not to say, you know, maybe it's it's not uh, something new, but fusion rifles have been strong in this uh, sandbox for a while, and that's both PvP, PvE, uh, with particle deconstruction being a, a viable thing, um, but... Uh, most notably, uh, precision frames have been super stellar. That's because I think Zura sold a couple of God Roll main ingredients, and while those are some super awesome weapons, you guys know me, I prefer my Cartesian coordinate for the uh, rapid fire frame, but sometimes you miss the map with the Cartesian coordinate. Like, it just doesn't quite have the range that the main ingredient does. And that's why in today's video, we're looking at an adaptive frame. Now, I, I wanted to look into this because I was watching a video from Walla, if you're una, unaware of who he is, you can check out the video I'm talking about here, and basically he used the trinary system, the Gambit Fusion Rifle, which is an adaptive frame. Adaptive frames are, um, they're a lot easier to manage and to use, they have a, uh, a charge time of 660 seconds, which is a little bit longer than a rapid fire frame, but they still have uh, I think a better map ability. Um, so I started putting two and two together and I was like, well, what's a weapon? Because look, nobody wants to farm Gambit for a trinary system, right? Like it's just not really a thing anyone wants to do. But the moon fusion rifle, the dream breaker, being a moon weapon is super farmable. Easy, easy to farm. And I'll even go in and show you exactly how to do that right here. You'll want to start by going to the Electron of Enchantment on the moon and picking up the Essence of Servitude. And once we have this, as you can see, we're going to need the Erath Ur's Horned Wreath. If you don't already have this, I'll show you uh, how to go get it right now. Just follow my path on screen. I'm going to zoom it up for, uh, for quality assurance. Now, once you get to the catacombs, you can always turn up your brightness to help you see a little bit. You don't just want to go jumping willy-nilly all over the place. You could jump into a bottomless pit and die. It's you not know, really going to matter or hurt you. But once there, you're going to travel down to the bottom of the catacombs where there will be a uh, yellow bar named Wizard. It's not going to be on my screen since I've already killed it before and gotten it. But it will be down here uh, past this uh, little area with all of these ads. And... It's really that simple. Once you kill the yellow named bar enemy, it will drop the Erethur's Horned Wreath. And from there, you basically just have to uh, do the uh, the next part of, of the quest step, which is to get fusion rifle kills and to kill uh, Vex somewhere on the moon. You'll want to equip a fusion rifle with Reservoir Burst. Make sure you have plenty of scavenger mods and res reserve mods. Um, you can use either Null Composure or if you happen to have a Plug 1 with Reservoir Burst. I'm electing to go with my Plug 1 with Feeding Frenzy and Reservoir Burst and travel to Sorrow's Harbor. Once there, travel through the Lunar Battlegrounds to the uh, Garden of Salvation Vex Gate Portal Room. And whenever you're in here, there is usually a, a barrier champion to your... Uh, right, you can try to kill that real quick because it does have a chance once you unlock this weapon to drop uh, additional rolls. It's a small chance, but it's there. Now, equip your fusion rifle and basically um, go near the Vexgate portal after you clear a small wave of ads and go to town. And it's it's really that simple. You'll be done with this in a matter of seconds, honestly. And then uh, once there, you can travel back to the Electron of Enchantment and turn in your roll where you uh, have an opportunity to get some kind of roll for the Dreambreaker.
This, in my opinion, is one of the easiest farms in the game. And uh, compared to even some of the other lunar weapons, like just having to kill Vex, and I think Reservoir Burst makes this extraordinarily easy if you go to the Vex Gate portal. Uh, but, but yeah, look. Again, you guys know I love my Cartesian coordinate. You know, I love my rapid fire frames. And even back in the day, back when Arantil was a thing, I still have my God Roll Arantil. Again, prior for my cold dead hands, Bungie. Uh, this thing is freaking nutty, all right? Like, it's got a slightly, and I mean slightly, ever so slightly uh, longer charge time than Cartesian, but its mapping ability is ridiculous, right? Like, compared to that of a rapid fire frame. And. The roll that I ended up getting, I got very, very lucky. Um, I got Particle Repeater, which enhances stability, and then Under Pressure, which as we know, enhances stability, and then High Impact Reserves. We know Under Pressure High Impact Reserves is God Tier 4 Fusion Rifles specifically. Uh, stability is king on Fusion Rifles, so I might have preferred a Stability Masterwork, but honestly, I'll take the Handling. Uh, I got a Handling Masterwork on it, and I think that that actually helps out quite a bit. Now, in this gameplay, I'm just doing a rumble match with it. This was my first time using this in rumble. And while maybe I don't have the best kill death ratio by the end, I'm doing this with a, a survivor's epitaph. And honestly, it's a fantastic pairing um, because I, I'm basically playing to my range. I'm not trying to get too, uh, too close to anybody, but uh, it's really, really good. Like whenever, whenever I know that someone's around the corner, I start pre-charging. And the thing is, is a lot of times, <laughs> in one match I played with this, uh, I started getting kills with this thing. You, you know, somebody scratching their head, Dream Breaker. What the hell is that? So what do they do? They slap on their main ingredient, but it's not enough because most of the time I'm still out charging them. And if I don't get the kill, it's easy enough to switch to my survivor's epitaph and get the quick cleanup. Um, super good, super fun. I thoroughly enjoy this fusion rifle and you guys know me. I love my fusion rifles. This thing is absolutely insane. And I suggest you really try to go farm one, especially as easy as it is. Really guys, that's going to do it for the video. I just wanted to show you guys a quick and easy farm uh, for a pretty damned good fusion rifle. <clears throat> Especially considering the sandbox and considering everybody is using fusion rifles right now. And they're a great deterrence for lots of things like shotgun rushers. And I thoroughly enjoy this roll and I think you will too. And uh, should you get lucky enough to get the under pressure high impact roll or even not, it's easy enough to farm that it doesn't really matter. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, as always, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. We're really close to 300 subs right now and I am so stoked. But that's going to do it, guys. Godspeed, my friends.